There are some new changes for this year's hunting season, one of the major changes being the increase in the fee to acquire a hunting license. The Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Clarence Rambarat, at today's post-Cabinet media briefing said the Cabinet has considered a note to deal with the management arrangements for the upcoming season. Mahalia Joseph has more. Hunting licenses have been increased from $25 to $100, the maximum that can be charged according to the present legislation. Plans to increase the fines further are also on the cards as the minister says current fines for hunting protected game or outside of hunting season are inadequate. Since the government intends through legislative action to give further consideration to the cost of hunting licenses and we intend to increase that cost even further. We've reviewed the list of game that could be hunted and made some revisions to it and we intend to, through amendment to the legislation, make further changes as we go along. Minister Rambarat gave the potential range for carrying up the cost of licenses and fines. You know, what has been proposed is in the range of $250 for the, for the licenses. The other thing I did not mention is the current fines. We've all recognized that the current fines relating to the hunting of protected game and the hunt and hunting out of season, those fines are inadequate. The current fines are set at the maximum that the law allows us to set and the proposal from all the stakeholders is that those fines should be increased significantly. The minister says hunting season is also a good way to stimulate the economy. In every hunting area, for example, the ammunition that is used in hunting, during the moratorium, those parts of the, those are dealers in the rural area suffered by not having anybody to sell, sell it to. There is a lot of economic activity created. It's not just the sale of the meat. The sale of the meat creates some economic activity. But there are a lot of other things connected with, with hunting. He says the government engaged stakeholders in a comprehensive process on the matter starting with a meeting last November. Minister Rambarat says reports were submitted to the ministry in January and August 2016 by a steering committee consisting of stakeholders in the industry. He also highlighted the fact that there is a lack of capacity in terms of game wardens to enforce the law and for this year's hunting season, 175 honorary game wardens will be brought on at an approximate cost of $2 million. Mahalia Joseph, C News.